In today's lesson, we're going to dive into the intriguing world of solutions and concentrations. We'll explore how we can describe them in both simple and more precise ways, and we'll also understand the difference between saturated and unsaturated solutions. Let's understand what concentrations are first. Imagine you're making a delicious glass of lemonade. How much lemon juice should you add to get to that perfect balance of sweet and tangy? That's where the idea of concentration comes in. Concentration tells us how much of something is mixed into a solution. To measure it, we can look at qualitative or quantitative descriptions. For qualitative, think of concentration like a flavor. If you add a little lemon juice, your lemonade is weak in flavor. If you add a lot, it's strong and tangy. In qualitative terms, we talk about concentration as being weak, strong, or somewhere in between. So, concentration is like describing how intense the flavor or ingredient is in the mix. Now let's get a little bit more precise with quantitative measurements. Imagine you have a cup of water and you dissolve sugar in it. If you measure how much sugar you added and how much water you have, you can express concentration quantitatively. For instance, you might say you added 20 grams of sugar to 100 milliliters of water. This tells you exactly how much sugar is in that amount of water. Now let's look at saturated versus unsaturated solutions. Imagine you're trying to dissolve salt in water. At first, you keep adding salt and it keeps disappearing. But there comes a point when no more salt can dissolve. It's like the water is full and can't take in any more salt. This is a saturated solution. It's holding all the salt it can. Now, picture a different scenario. You have a glass of water and you add a tiny bit of sugar. It dissolves right away and you could keep adding more sugar but it's never quite full. This is an unsaturated solution. It can still take in more of the substance. In summary, concentration helps us understand how much of something is in a solution. We can describe it in simpler terms, like how strong a flavor is, or we can measure it precisely using numbers. Saturated solutions are like a packed suitcase. They can't take any more. Unsaturated solutions are like an empty suitcase. There is space for more. So whether we're talking about the taste of your lemonade or the precise measurement in a chemistry lab, understanding concentrations and saturated versus unsaturated solutions adds a new layer to our knowledge of the world around us.